And still in the news, the police have said that no member of the now defunct Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS, will be part of the newly constituted Special Weapons and Tactics SWAT team. Following a very intense uh, protest that has lasted for days, the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, dissolved the infamous subunit of the force, SARS. Two days after disbanding SARS, the IGP set up a SWAT unit. However, this move did not go down well with those who have uh, protested for the dissolution of the anti-robbery squad, causing them to change the mantra from NSARS to NSWAT. The call for the disbanding of the new unit is hinged on the argument suggesting that the decision to immediately replace SARS operatives with SWAT is hasty and unpremeditated. In a bid to throw more light on this, the new unit rather set up by the IGP, the police put up a statement on Twitter stating that their mandate will be, however, uh, they, rather stating what their mandate will be. However, rather than refer to them as SWAT, police spokesman Frank Mba, who put out the statement, used the phrase tactical team. It is unclear if the police have changed the name of the newly constituted unit from SWAT to tactical team, but a spokesman said no operative of SARS. Uh, will be included in the new team. He also noted that the operations of the tactical team will be strictly intelligence-driven. Members of the new tactical team are also expected not to embark on routine patrols. They are barred from the indiscriminate and unlawful search of phones, laptops, and other smart devices. And joining us to, of course, shed uh, more light on this is uh, Ezekiel Nyayetok, a public affairs analyst. Thank you for staying around and of course uh, for joining us once again. Thanks for having me again. Let's quickly get into this. Uh, the growing concerns that the protests could escalate and go beyond just uh, end SARS or end SWAT uh, protests into something uh, bigger. Um, do you agree that, that there's that possibility? I, I don't have to agree, it's a reality. Why is it a reality? If you listen to the young girl young lady that was speaking, she said something extremely fundamental. It was that a good percentage of the people you are seeing there are not students. They are graduates that have no work. These are people who have been sitting down at home. These are people who have been depressed on account of not just the COVID, but the COVID is over. People are going out. They have nowhere to go. Now they have somewhere to go, where there's live music, where they are friends, they are chatting, where people are even coming and giving all manner of support and food, and they can even network. They are seeing their stars, and you want them to leave that, then you've got to give them an alternative where they're going to. That is one set of people. You need to segmentalize that group you are seeing there. There is that group as one. There is the group of aggrieved persons whose brothers, sisters, friends have been brutalized by SARS. And they feel really aggrieved. And for a long time, they've looked forward to this. Those people are there. You've got to solve their problem before they will leave. There is also the miscreants who have seen a lot of opportunity. Everybody is carrying good phones to record. Pickpockets out there. So for them, a business exists somewhere. Yeah, but do you, do you think there's a possibility that it would grow beyond just demanding you know, an end to the special unit of a police? Not that into, it, not that um, it will Actually grow. speaking truth to power and demanding government you know, change power. You know... You go somewhere and you thought it was just snacks. And then all of a sudden you see that there's even food inside. So people are like, hmm, this is working. Why don't we move to step two? Why don't we move to step three? As a matter of fact, we don't want Mr. President. He should resign. We, and they forget we are running a democracy. And they make demands that cannot be you know, assuaged or cannot be met easily. And when there is that, comes to that place where they actually believe they can get this, which is not possible for them to get, to be able to bring their minds back, because before they get to that level, they've worked themselves up. 
for you to be able to walk themselves back becomes more difficult. So what do you do? You get proactive and really put on your thinking cap and say, God, what are the low-hanging fruits? What can I do? Can I call Asu now and say, Asu, please, please, for the sake of whatever, let's get the universities going as quickly as possible. We beg you okay. what we need to do. So I want to move into So the... that you move out one section of people who are really academically inclined and are frustrated they can't go back to school. You take the wind off the sail from that side. Now I'm told there's a portal open now where you can, you know, the I can't remember the name of that uh, fund, the 75 billion, um, 75, 78 billion. The fund is oh, the, the 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 portal is open where the you know. But you see, you've got to take good steps strategically. I think the very first thing that would happen is for Mr. President to address this holistically. Talk to them. We've met the one, two, three, four, five demands. As a matter of fact, from Intel, we need to go further than your demands and also do this. Okay, I, I want to speak now on the organization of, of the protest, you know, protesters. <laughs> They've been able to raise funds for themselves, you know, provide medical supplies, provide um, lawyers to attend to, you know, um, arrested protesters, um, provide food, you know, and water and wa whatever is necessary at the protest grounds. Yeah. Um, there, of course, then the insinuations that it, it you know, it's been sponsored by, um, of course, politics and, and all of that. Um, what would be your reaction to that? Oh, no, no. You see, it's, um, it's lazy mentality when you take things on surface value and just want to run with, oh, it's opposition. That's, uh, that's lazy politicians that don't have the capacity to think, unfortunately. What is happening where some of us elders are coming in is to see that for the first time, the lazy youth who can only rant on social media and support Big Brother, faceless, have come to the real world to say something. We want to give them the thing to say, or we want to read their, there's something they have in mind. We want to be able to bring it up. What is that? What they have in mind is that, look, we matter. I said something on the social media that went viral. I said that Children are leaders of tomorrow. The youths okay. are leaders of today. All right. That saying, youths are leaders of tomorrow, has to come to an end. So the youths are coming out. And that thing that they want inside is we want good governance. All right. Where we matter as a people. So right. the we're, leaders we're, we're out of time. have to come um, in and help actualize that yearning of the youths. Ezekiel, I talk. always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for stopping Thanks by. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.